Hello everybody and welcome to Nate's Trains and today is day 8 of the 2021 Christmas Bonanza. So for the final day of the Christmas Bonanza, I figured I would go over everything that happened to me in 2021. So let's get started. First off, I would like to give a special thanks to everyone who subscribed and watched over the past year and helped grow this channel. In January of 2021, I started off the year with about 14 subscribers and less than 10 hours of watch time. At the end of 2021, I finished off the year with over 51,000 views, more than 2,000 hours of watch time, and I also gained 197 subscribers. So I'd like to give a big thank you to all of you who watched and subscribed over the past year and helped grow this channel. Next, I'd like to go over everything that I was fortunate enough to be able to purchase over the past year. The first thing that I was able to purchase was my Western Maryland GP30 numbered 502. This locomotive was the first engine that I was ever able to purchase with my own money, including the seven Western Maryland passenger cars to go with it. The next engine I was able to purchase was my Lionel Lion Chief Plus 2.0 060T for the lettered for the Pennsylvania Railroad. This locomotive is a great engine for $250 and I'm just very glad I was able to purchase it. The next engine that I was able to purchase last year was my MTH Premier Canadian Pacific SD70 ACE numbered 7021. This locomotive was a spur of the moment purchase and I'm very glad that I pulled the trigger on it because this locomotive is just amazing. Quick disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag or anything about what I was able to buy this year. I'm just simply going over what I was able to do this year and how it helped me grow my channel. Throughout 2021, I was also able to go to different railroads as well. The first one I was able to go to was the Strasbourg Railroad where I rode behind 475 and also got to see the Norfolk and Western 611. The next railroad that I was able to see was the Everett Railroad and got the ride behind the Everett 11. And my favorite and last railroad that I was able to go to this last year was the JNL Narrow Gauge, where I got to spend the day there working and volunteering, and also got to see the JNL 58 in action. Although 2021 was a great year, I have high expectations that 2022 will be even better. My one goal for 2022 is to hit 500 subscribers, so let's see if we can make that happen. With that being said, this video is over. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing over the past year, and let's go ahead and hit 500 subscribers.